Hi guys, welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. So in this video, I'm going to show you how the day in the life of a network specialist usually is. So I'm going to show you how my a typical day in my life usually goes. So I'm leaving to go to work now. I work from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. usually, right? Um, now because it's of the whole COVID situation, um, traffic is not that bad. It's great actually. I don't have any kind of traffic from where I live to where I go to work, right? Um, normally, under normal conditions, I take approximately an hour and a half to get to work, right? Because of the whole pandemic situation, it takes me like 30 to 40 minutes to get to work. So um, this is the time I'm leaving to go to work, right? Five to six. Right, and I should, you know, I guess I should be in work maybe by half six, you know, um, 25 to 7 around that time frame, unless there's an accident or some unforeseen um, situation, right? Right, so stay tuned. So I'm just arriving at work, um, heading to the parking lot. So I actually park at a parking lot right across the street from where I work. So that's pretty convenient. So commute was pretty good today actually. Um, it's now 6.23 a.m. And I've arrived here at work. Well, technically I'm not at work. I'm in the parking lot, but I'm heading across now to work. So this is the building that I actually work at. Right, so let's wait on an elevator right now to get to my floor. So the office is pretty quiet right now. I'm usually one of the first people to be in because I work from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and this is my desk. So this is where the magic happens. Let's get in. <laughs> so let me just set up my computer. So once I sign in for work, one of the first things that I actually do is call my wife, you know, touch base with my wife just to let her know I arrive safely, you know. So I normally do that and just spend about a few, maybe two to three minutes just getting my thoughts together and prepare me mentally for my day at work. So now that my computer is set up, my thoughts are collected, I touch base with my wife. I begin my day usually by checking out our, checking the logs of our monitoring software. So I recently set up PRTG to monitor our network here at the head office. Right? If you haven't heard about it, it's a pretty good network monitoring tool. I'll be doing a video soon showing you guys how to use this software. So what this tool does is that it basically monitors some of the key network infrastructure that we have at the head office. Right, I'm still in the midst of tweaking and configuring it. Um, as you can see, I'm still using the trial the evaluation copy. Right, but it's it's pretty good, you know. It, it gives us a lot of insight into our network and the different devices such as servers, switches, etc. Right, beside that, I also have a Unify controller that I use to monitor our unify equipment this would be for head office as well as our different um, sites such as our different district offices so this is a cloud hosted controller that i implemented that will help us to monitor all our various sites that use U ubiquity unify specifically equipment so after viewing our monitoring system i still like to do a physical inspection of our network and server infrastructure just to make sure there are no abnormalities. So I'm actually in our server room right now. Right, so this is our on-prem equipment. We also use Microsoft Azure for a lot of our services. So I'll just take a walk through and ensure that everything is looking kosher. Next, I would normally go through my email and respond to anything outstanding. I'll also use my email to build a to-do list of the things that I need to accomplish during the course of today. So emails have been responded to and I've created my to-do list for today. 
I'm a bit old school, I just use a traditional notepad and pen to create my to-do list. It's just a nice way of keeping track of what I need to accomplish during the course of today. So I just noticed an alarm on our VxRail hyperconvert system. It's saying that uh, we are unable to connect to the e-service server. So this is a fairly new piece of infrastructure that we got. So I have to do some additional research to find out what is causing the problem and what we can do to resolve it. So I just got an email with a request to create some Active Directory accounts for some new employees. So I'm just going to head over to Active Directory Users and Computers and create these accounts. So after much research, I was unable to find a resolution for our VMware situation. So I decided to reach out to our vendor since we have a support contract with them. So this is an email which I documented all of my findings. This should aid them to find a resolution for the problem that we are facing. So some of our employees were experiencing printing issues. So upon checking a print server, I noticed that there were some large documents that were stuck in the print queue. So I cleared the print queue and I think all should now be well and users should be able to print once more to this printer. Hi guys, so it's about that time, lunch time. So just gonna hot up my lunch there. So after having a good lunch, I'm now working on virtualizing one of our servers. Earlier in the day, our print server went down and this was due to a faulty memory module. Right, so what we're going to do, uh, my director gave us permission to virtualize this old and failing print server to our new VxRail solution. Right, so that's what I'm going to do now. So to do that, I have to run this um, standalone converter application. So this application is actually on our print server and this would be taking us through the process of virtualizing the server and sending it to our VxRail manager. In an up and coming video, I'll be showing you how this is done. So if that's something you'd like to see, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And this is our VxRail manager where our virtualized server will now be stored. So I'm actually working a little late today guys, it's 90 minutes past 3, I usually get off at 3 p.m. However, I've decided to stick around till the virtualization process has been completed. It's now at 98%, so it be, should be completed shortly. So the virtualization was completed successfully, and after reviewing my to-do list, I could see that I completed all the tasks that I set out to do today. So all in all, I would say today was a very productive day. Alright guys, so I've just finished work. I'm in the parking lot right now, about to leave to go home. So this is what a typical day at my job normally comprises of. So although I say typical, the IT field is so dynamic that um, from day to day we may encounter new problems, um, we may have unforeseen things that we didn't cater for, that we will need to find resolution to. And a lot of the times also beside head office, I'm at different locations, our dif district offices and sub sites that I might have to deploy a wireless solution, you know, such as Wi-Fi access points. Also last week, I, I was actually at one of other our locations um, implementing a PBX system, you know, but um, for the most part, when I'm at head office, yeah, this is what my typical day would look like. So if you work in the IT field, drop a comment. And let me know what your typical day looks like. That brings us to the end of this video, guys. Remember, if you like the content I'm creating, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, click on the notification bell to be notified once a new video is released. Thanks again for viewing. See you soon.